Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are pretty controversial games. You know, because faithful remake! But even before BDSP, the first Pokemon remakes were criminally faithful too. Fire Red and Leaf Green are, of course, remakes of Red and Green. And this iteration of Kanto is hardly any different from the original. Some Pokemon were moved around, now everyone has the right to use Mankey, but Star is a privilege for only Leaf Green fans. In terms of actual additions to Kanto, female protagonists running shoes, trainer rematches, and getting into Saffron's a bit different. And aside from a couple new items in there, that's it. No day-night cycle. You can't even evolve to get non-Kanto Pokemon before the post-game. That being said, Gen 1's mechanics are very archaic. I mean, most of the time, the game just doesn't work properly. So the updates coming from Gen 2 and 3 really refine the experience. And outside of Kanto, there's of course the Sevi Islands. This is where you find all the new Pokemon, breeding, more story. Logging some of that stuff behind the post-game kind of weird, but surely they'll never do that again. So a faithful remake of Diamond and Pearl could have been good, but this wasn't it. So it might be about time for another Kanto Remake to show them how it's done!